Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. Uh, we're back with some Spell Rogue. And today, we're going to be doing the B version for Lapis. We've got Mana Inversion, and its upgrade allows me to get Rain, which basically will um, reduce countdown spells on my next turn, which is uh, okay. Or on a 6, I can gain 3 Fury, which basically will just up the next damage on my next attack. So, interesting. So I put a 6, it becomes a 1, and then I gain 3 Fury on that. So, I think the rain would be more interesting. Because going more of a countdown style of play. Go there. Yeah, we'll just do it on stage 0, because I just want to learn again new things. We're not going for challenge at the moment. We want to see what is out there, see the broken stuff. Huh, by Glacial to a random spell. Uh, roll 10, get block. On turn 2, gain 7 Fury. So 7 extra damage, or we can just chance to get 4 block every turn. We'll take the 4 block every turn. Would be very nice if we could. Could go here to here to the shop. Is there any shop worthwhile? Not really. We go here, here. We could do both of these two, and then maybe go here. If not, we can just like jump to this instead. So... Still get the event that way. Maybe. I'll have a think about it when I go back. Hmm. That's very nice. Do that 5 damage. Give me that 4 block for no reason. Um, we can just invert this. And deal damage again. So yeah, on the embrace side of stuff, on the odd we just gain three fury, so like a three is where you want to be putting that in. And even we gain four block. We just put like a two in there. Oh, we gain so much block. Could have won this turn to be honest, that's my fault. Reading this confused me. So I have good offense, I just don't have any defense, really, and that's what the Glacial is going to be about, so that's kind of nice. Kind of lucky that, you know, <laughs> that happened that way, because I didn't read beforehand. Uh, sea Ward. I do like Sea Ward. I think it's really good. But I kind of want to go with the rain stuff. But this is a defensive point that I could be using. Um, don't mind Poison playing. Actually. But I wanted defense, we'll go with defense. We'll go into another battle and. Hmm. Yeah, if you even I go here or here, I can still get an elite, so that's what we'll do. Um, chuck the two in there first. That way we get enough to block that anyway. Um, I think this gains power every time I attack it, doesn't it? Yeah. Annoyance. So I kind of want to set a turn up where I can actually just like one shot that. If at all possible. So gaining the fury is actually a good idea. Hmm. We get the kill here anyway. Which is pretty good. Might need more offense. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. Huh. Plunge is interesting. Absolution is interesting. Hmm. And the frozen shield. Uh, that's never happening. That's a, a terrible thing unless you've got like countdown reduction stuff. Um, the rain on that is interesting. You get more rain with absolution. Um, extra block or just more charges. I would want to reroll, but I'd rather just take the general absolution here. Because if I can get that upgraded, and like, this upgrade to having three block is pretty good. Like, I'm a massive fan of Sea Ward, it's such a good card. Um, or spell. <laughs> um, absolution, though, with the rain, and then if we get the rain on this, we get a rain bell going. And then just, like, fill loads of countdown stuff up. You know? 
Uh, where is this going first? Uh, for now, we'll hold on to it until we get something else. And with 70, do we go to shop? Do we go to shop? Yes, we do. Do one damage three times. That being my only spell is interesting. So a three or a four technically means this can be triggered. Hmm. No. Amalgamate is meh. Steel Ward I don't really want to use. This though. Like if I upgrade this, I can basically regain half my fury. So fury is never fully spent. And it maintains its consistency as long as this is my only attack. Which would mean I need to roll threes or fours, which will happen one third of the time. I can use this to gain fury plus all the block. I'm going to attempt this. No, I'm disenchanting it, but... So, we're going to go with a Fury build, and maybe we can get, like, some rain stuff as well. That'd be kind of interesting. Yeah, we'll skip and go to the event. Um, lose max health, get the dowsing rod, that way you can get gold on the move. This is just so broken. So now a 3 and a 4 are really good value for me, right? That's if we get a 3 and a 4. Here we can just gain 3 fury if I wanted to, then we can fully defend up. Which technically we have done now, so I can actually invert this and gain more fury. So once I get a three, I can pretty much like kill something off, or a four, which is what we've got here. So here I want to do this first to flip the die. So I get a three. And I want to do this to flip the die as well to gain more fury, right? No, I might actually want to get the defense on this one. No, I don't need the defense, do I? Guess I do. By keep, yeah, I, 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 that's so good. Um, I already fully defended, so I should put on the absolution. There we go. There we go. Just game fury. That's seven, which is. A kill. <laughs> okay. Rhyme hail. <laughs> Didn't think we'd go for a fury build, but it's interesting enough. Um, Odds don't really want to go in there. Evens are kind of... I do like Brian Bubble. It's more interesting. And I get rerolls out of it as well. So it could be a better defensive tool than Absolution. Sea Ward is just too good. I want to keep that. Like, until this is upgraded. But then, like, nothing really stands out to me. Like, even the Hydro Clasp. It seems interesting enough. But, like, am I really going to get much out of that? I'll probably just reroll and see what we get. Hmm. Noxious display. Ice ward is interesting. I like ice ward. Pick that up. Is ice ward better than that? Yeah, kind of. Like, if I ever get it depleted, then uh, that's just a uh, rolling extra die. And it means I can get, like, minor improvements to my defense. Sometimes. Ah, uh, 
The thing that summons other things. Uh, well, we'll gain more my defense, so I don't need to worry about that. And... See, this is this is the issue I have at the moment, is where it's like, okay, what do I do from here? I should have probably put that in there. But oh well. Okay, I got a four. So we check out in there, gain my uh, defense as such. Annoyingly, I need to take this thing out first. Right. I can't have it staying alive giving this power. I then need to gain more defense. And then we need to gain some fury. And I'll throw the weak potion out. Use that way we're fully defended. Another three. Nice. Um, this means I fully defend here. Can't really use a one for anything, so just re-roll it to a six. Gain more defense. And then I guess we just chuck this up there. I still maintain two of my fury. Hmm. Can't use that, that's very annoying. Becomes two, that becomes a six. I'm checking the ice ward out there. I got sixteen, that's enough. But yeah, what else are we gonna do? And let's gain some fury. It's better to gain the Fury than it is to attack, so I'm pretty much looking just for one-shots only, aren't I? Seaboard me, baby. Like, if, I, if I'm fully defended here, like, I just want to get more defense, more anything else. But here, I need to take this guy out because he's buffing. I haven't fully defended, so I need to get more defense if I can. Which doesn't give me enough, so I'm well just getting the fury and accept that I'm going to take some damage. Hmm. Could turn a six into a one, or this to a five, or turn this into a five. Okay, five, five. Put that there. I am fully defended for the turn. Twelve times three, eh? That's actually so good. <laughs> I am fully defended. <laughs> and I still keep five with the fury, that's brilliant. Gain some defense again. The problem is this gives more attack, but I need to do this to make sure I get the kill next turn. Like I see, even with the four, he doesn't actually gain any extra. Ah. It's already takes the nine. Oh, nice. That's a kill. A bit messy. But if I can get more ways to get threes or something, this could be really interesting. Um, Icicle Blade. Overchill is interesting. Has we gain Fury on the Deplete. A way to get defense as well. I like it. Icicle Blade is good backup if I ever decide I want to change my way of attacking. But I need more die to make this a lot better. Mental Reservoir is always interesting. I'm going to pick up the Overchill. <laughs> uh, 
And I think it's actually better than the Embrace. By doing this. And I kind of want to put sixes in there. I guess I can now, can't I? But this is better first. You know what, I wanted to do a rain build, but I guess we're going a fury build. That portent is really good as well. I do like a portent. But the problem issue with that is I got the difference between making... Getting damage permanently or getting defense, so... Um, let's disenchant a spell. Yeah, the, the issue with this is the either or. But I guess we get rid of the absolution first, because I don't need that anymore. I'm attacking block, attacking weak. Roll an odd die. Grass flow. Nah, we'll re-roll this. Hmm. Take the prescience. I think it's better than the rest of them. Extra die is extra die. It's always something to think about. Okay, portent is kind of what I want to trigger first if I can. But not really, I've got to defend first, so... We'll defend here. Then we'll defend here. Get this up. Which means I can one-shot one of these if I want to, or I can just deal that damage there. Now there is an equilibrium with attacking as well as getting my defense out of this. Yeah, I need to defend first. Uh, we'll defend against power, how about that? Invert this, play that there. Two twos. I take one damage. Good set the regen up, but there's no point at the moment. If I gain one power and then five fury, so we're at 11 there. We do 33 damage. This actually probably works out better for me. <laughs> I would like to use that, but it's not really what I want to do here. And then flip this die. Do the same again. Not really. I might as well now, anyway. This is all in all likelihood. We can stop that silence from going off. I gotta think about power scaling first. Like that's the main thing I gotta be doing. Hmm. So this is seven times three. Get this off as an extra fifteen. Which isn't a kill, and I would also need to get this triggered as well. I can't do all that in one turn. So I guess we'll defend up. Is the best thing I can do. Uh, the good news is, is even with these die, like I can maximize what I'm getting out of this. With the fury as well. So now if I get like a another one of these, or the three and like any other two die. Which we get. We get a kill on that.
it is the one thing that I've never messed around with, Fury. I I, I can't say no to it. <laughs> It works so well. <laughs> I get 12. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, run target lifelink, spell echo. Spell echo is pointless. Um, plus one charge is kind of meh. Playing lifelink to two targets could be useful. I'll pick that up for now. I need ways to roll more die. That is what I'm now rethinking. I probably should avoid elites, because I think we're pretty much set up. But I don't have, like, ways to generate other stuff is my issue, maybe. I'll just go, just go for the elites, why not? You only live once, right? I can't even roll, like, roll, re roll both these into something that's useful either. By this point, might as well trigger this first. Into that. As soon as I get that three, you guys are gonna know about it, okay? Um, we're gonna invert this mana. We're just gonna throw that in there. Now we're gonna kill you all. Oh, this is already funny. Um, Water Lotus is actually pretty good. Um, because I'm never triggering this anyway for the moment. Um, I'd rather swap these over. So I can get two Odd Die, which is likely to roll this. So that's kind of good. Like, that, that, that's kind of the, the plan, is to try and uh, min-max rolling threes as much as possible now. He says. Ones go in here, they give me fury. I don't fully defend. This game hates me. <laughs> I think genuinely the fact that I don't get fours or threes is uh, an absolute nightmare. Hi friend. Um, you now go bye bye. Um, apply weak on chill core, do X damage, don't care about that, don't care about that. Um, we'll just pick the chill core up here for now, and then we'll move on. If I go this way, I get a shop as well. And I get like two relics from a shop at this point as well. Yeah, um, prescience is pretty, pretty good for this setup as well also. Um, goodbye Embrace. You are probably the worst currently. Nope. Nope. And nope. Like, none, none of these are great. And I don't want to waste, um, re-rolling, so I'll take the more expensive card. Spell. 
Gain tendrils, 15 damage. Well, it's something I can sell. Receive two weak each turn. It really hankers my damage to upgrade a random spell. Come on, I should gain tendrils there. To the shop. Now, what do we get? Uh, da da da, nothing that is. <laughs> uh, that would stop me rolling. The only thing that could be really bad is me rolling fives and twos, but I can spend five or twos, can't I? Uh, tendrils, you're gone. Chilcoy, you're gone. Ice Sword, you're not useful anymore. Minstrel's gone, and. Gaining two foresight with the uh, prescience could be useful. I might still keep that around. So we'll disenchant those. I think in invoke mana might be the play. Like fives can still go in here and stuff, and still have me get the plea, and so can twos. Um, fours and one stuff can go into sea ward. That's kind of meh at the moment because. Invoke mana does use two die to roll three. We'll see what fast fact I get first. More than likely that is happening. Yeah, I will pick that up. That is more or less happening every turn. I don't think I'm going to be doing six or more spells. <sighs> I would have to sell both of these to make this work, right? At which point I would still need two die to roll three. When that just sets me up for the next turn and makes the one turn currently terrible. But this is something I can use consistently on a turn with one of them, so can this. I just need a way to play the all three of them. Yeah, I'm really debating it at the moment. So, let me go through my thought process here. So at the moment I need to roll threes or fours, because these two cover the, these two bases, right? And eventually, like, whatever. Um, if I roll a one or a six, I can put it into this to help my next turn out, but I only get one die for that turn, maybe two with this now activating. If I get a five or a two, this is more useful, but I can't play both at the moment. At the moment I can't spend sixes, so fives can still go here. The issue is, is if I get more die, I can invoke mana to get more spells, but then this won't start triggering. So it's kind of like um What's more important? And I think although I would like the invoke mana, I don't think it's what I need with what I currently have. Like I'm only relying on one die from these, and I got the inversion, so a five or a two, or one or a six, and I can make these trigger. But this one, I need two of them, so I'm going to leave it. Roll an extra die turn one. That's actually really good. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take the weak potion. Um, I don't want to re-roll any of the spells, I'm quite happy with them, so I'll just gain 6 max life here. What I need is, um... Another, uh... Shard. So this is kind of what I meant earlier when I said, like, anything I can technically I can still use. Even if I don't think they're great. This is a terrible start, by the way. To the point where I will just use the weakness potion. Like, that is awful. That goes eight. Yeah. And then we get the foresight for next turn. I can three foresight with that. 
I should cast this. Um, so we can take both of those two out. We have a three. We'll use it straight away because it does... Huh. Ah, because that's got more health. I see. I see. Doesn't do anything there. They mark me. How terrible. Um, we can do this again. Five and five. And that. I still gain the foresight. <laughs> oh, come on, game. That's not fair. Yeah, I, I'm happy with my decision making through that battle there. Eight block and on depletes, gain a toxic skin. Blizzard and replenish Azor to reroll the die. That'd be pretty good on Foresight gain, gain plus one charge, but it's not the deck I'm going for at the moment. Not the uh, thing. I'll take the poison barrier, might be useful. Might just reroll it straight away, to be honest. Because I just don't see it working with what I currently have. I mean, it's a nice defensive option. No denying that. Is it better than Sea Ward? I don't think it is. <sighs> it's because the countdown is the issue. But it instantly depletes itself the moment I use it, which does give me two toxic skin, which actually adds up with um getting more getting ten. Which always poisons attackers. But I don't need to deal damage, so no. Disenchant it. Hmm. That's never triggering. In case Azul. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. I might actually have my setup then. Okay, here's the fun bit. Can I one shot these? Technically this is, well, technically they're both the same. Um, this gives me extra block, and I need to get the extra block anyway. Um, we can invert this one, and this one. And we can still gain all the bonuses we need. You snared me, how dare you? That is no longer acceptable here. Um, there's no point doing anything else, so we'll go with the portal on this first, because I don't have a six. The sea ward. Do the same again. I would love to do this, but I hate the snare. It's up to 16, isn't it? It's fine. Oh no, it's an extra 50, I've already defended. What am I thinking? That's right, curse me. Made me unable to roll sixes, but roll everything else really well. Okay. Um, still not enough just yet. So... A four. And a four. Three. And a three. Now, I've rolled six. Less than six. Okay, so don't gain the bonus to the other one, but that's still better to gain two rather than just one. I am weak for a turn. This is not very nice. Um, 
able to block for 20. So, that into that there. Guess again, 6 defense there. There are probably people yelling at me because I was an idiot and I could have won the game at this point, but... Like, I couldn't figure it out. That was the problem. A5, A5, reroll to a 3, cast lifelink on both. Oh, that was so good. Get one shot. Okay, that would seem great, but it doesn't reset. It's every turn. Enemies gaining one power would seem fine. Enemy death received three damage. I'll take that. Dreadstone, you are great. Because I only received the damage once I've already kind of set myself up. Okay. I guess we'll go here first, because I would like to face the elites, and this way I might get two elites. Could go that way as well, but this I have the option to bail if I need to. And that's what it's all about, is being a coward when it's necessary. What are we going to do here? Oh yeah, less than, less than four might be that. Um, the only thing is, like, this is the worst thing that I have to set, wait for. If I've got three enemies, is wait for this to be ready. <laughs> uh. I think both of those. Oh. I forgot. I should have defended. My bad. I forgot the Dreadstone, even though I just picked it up. We all died to a lower value. Whirlpool. Getting a Coction Coction isn't that great. Um, pick up Placiate, because better than nothing. Gain one curse. This is pretty good. Uh, lose an attack spell. Gain devoted. Gain foresight for the start of three rounds. Gain two holy water. And next three combats. Hmm. Don't have attack spells. Sorry. We'll just leave. I don't really care about anything of those. <laughs> uh, delay block we don't really care about right now. Let's reroll you into something better. We'll get some healing out because I was an idiot. Veil of Surgy. Gaining power to receive poison. And this is a great way to... um. Game point, the team power. Winter's bite, nothing of those. I'll take that because it's a green. Now, do we go for the ritual stone or the battle? We'll go for the battle because I want to take this and this and yeah. If I go to the ritual stone, I'll be for I might be tempted to go to the shop instead, and I want to get the other two things online as well. Hmm. Hmm. That's annoying. I know I could have got seven out of it instead. I was being silly there, but... And I don't want to use this six anywhere because... Yeah, I want to keep my uh, stuff for next turn. Now, 
Can I fully defend, is the question. Uh, we guess we're re-rolling this three first. Then... That and that. That and that. Is in turn, right? And then we one shot everyone. First, we get the defense here, and again. First, you must gain the defense before I forget about the dreadstone. Uh, I will re I've got enough money now to waste. Interesting. Reality Ripple. And what do you do? Apply three marked. I'll take that. Good for the final boss. Good for the final boss indeed. And barely my final boss will literally just be like a pain in the backside. Oh, depleting presence here, yeah, and you get one charge per turn. But that's all I need. Um. Oh, he's just setting up fury. That's fine. Check you in there. You in there. You can go in there. Actually, the same. And then just do we do damage now? Yeah, because we still keep ten of it. And then that goes back up again, so. It's not like it's that bad overall. Uh, one. So it depletes and gives me that straight away. Not a kill, so we need to defend up. A four. A three. A six. I guess we'll attack again. Just hopefully the poison doesn't do too much to me. Ah, the portent. It's extra damage. I will use it. Because the extra damage on this. This doesn't give it the kill though, which is very annoying. Yes, I could be using potions and stuff like that now, but there's no point. Hmm. Only if I could use you straight away. It's a shame. It was a crying shame. I was so upset by it. Remove your block and gain two fury for each block removed. Polar Nexus. I want to keep my block though. Um, gain foresight. Want to deplete roll of X die. Eh, nah, no, that's re roll these. Roll an odd die on potion use gain a charge. Nope, nope, and uh, nope. Uh, none of you are the highest. So we'll just take that then. Plus three to all die value. Not really. Yeah, we'll skip out on those. We'll unlock you. In goes Water Lotus. Or just in cases is all better. I could be getting Fury as well with that. And the block. Actually, I get extra die more than I do at the moment, so the Water Lotus is kind of like meh. Um, to the event. Earth spell, fire spell, water spell. I would like something defensive. Fortitude. I would love a fortitude. 
if I could use it properly. This is the best one out of it. Take the elite boss on again. So like these slides get in the spell and we upgrade the one I currently have. Mm, sanguine bond. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. At this point you might as well gain the power from this anyway. And then check both those in there to make sure we try and kinda of defend. Um, we're doing the regeneration vial because I think this is going to be uh, going on for a long time. And we'll chuck the poison vial at you to like, deal some damage. Yeah, well, then turn. Hmm. I don't need to defend here, so we can just do that. Three I want to use. The ones can go there and there. Two and two to encase that. Just so we have them for next turn exactly as well. And let's deal damage. Could you do this to me? This is terrible. What would I ever do? Um, that's a kill. <laughs> Man, that was one of the easiest elite fights I've ever had. Um, no, no, no. Um, we'll take that because it's got the highest value of like trying to sell, I guess. Um, Ingo Water Lotus, because that was the whole point of me putting you in here, in case the Zora's like the backup for everything else, and yeah, we're going to see how this does. We'll heal for 11, maybe we'll get something interesting. Well, what happens if you disenchant this? Ah, I only get a uh, normal spell. Terrible. I was hoping you would get like another different um, nature spell. We're doing a lot better. I feel cheated. I can't one-shot this guy for 600 health. I think it's rather despicable that that is even possible. Yes, allow me to reroll die for no apparent reason. Uh, five, a two, a six, and I guess one, three to make sure I'm defended. into there. It doesn't actually cast as me casting a spell. Put the six in there. And that's what the interesting thing about this is. I can actually put threes in here to save them for later if I ever need to. I need to have 75 damage saved up on this, don't I? This does stop me from getting extra die, but I think the defense is worth it. What of this is fine, I don't mind that getting blocked. Um, put the five in there. We roll the one. Put the other five. And the six. And then, yeah. 
So we're at 54, 56 damage. I'm not quite a one shot. To my disappointment. I don't have a five, that's annoying. Guess we use a four, a four, and a one. Use the six here. Use that here. And that's enough to change phase. Now, I want to save this for marked for like the next setup. I think that's going to be more important. Five in there. Four in there. A two. Reroll a one. Into that. And a three and a one. Into that. So now... I should be able to get a good amount back out of this. 69, nice. Throw that on there. Um, get you in there. I'm very annoyed that you go invulnerable, but that's fine. I also can, like, you know, one shot you in most turns. You do 50 damage. Uh, that's kind of hilarious to me. Um, five for defense, two for that. Does that one shot? It does! I'm kind of impressed on how that worked. I, I generally am. Like, I don't do Fury builds, because I just find their consistency not to be that great. And, like, this wasn't even the final form of where we were going. Like, I should have got the Fury on this with the gain. Um, we could have changed this to just be any odd number as well. We could upgrade the prescience to give me power, which would have been awesome. In case it's to give me fury, like if I could have continued this run and had more options to upgrade everything properly, this would have been insane. But I guess that's what I get for like um skipping out on some early or um elites in the uh, second round. But anyway, again, if you do enjoy these videos, do leave a like, subscribe to see more, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.